Well, it's April 14th, and I'm at uh, Riverview Park in Sebastian, man. I'm going to head over to uh, Black Point, check out the seagrass, see what's going on. We've had basically almost drought conditions, very little rain in the last month. Water should be clear, and there should be grass growing, but uh, won't know till I get out there. Well, conditions out at Black Point were not ideal. It was windy, a little bit of a chop on the water, but I could still see a lot of darkness in the water. Now, the darkness was plant life that was growing. Usually, it's just sandy white bottom. So, I knew there was a lot of stuff growing. What was down there, I couldn't really tell until I put the cameras down. It looks like there's a lot of grass growing. And what I liked to see is that there is a more diverse amount of plant life, aquatic plant life that's, that's down there compared to uh, years past. So hopefully that's, that is a good thing. Am I surprised? No. This is a year that, um, time of year, that the plant life really starts to take off. For the next two to three months, it's going to grow and grow rapidly. And I would expect by the time June and July comes, <coughs> um, the flats over here are going to be full of aquatic plant life. The question is, what happens afterwards? That is going to be the area that I really got to watch, is when we get, start getting our heavy rains, we start getting a lot of the uh, water from the inland being washed out. And um, two things I see is the spraying that they've done gets washed out inland, gets washed out and kills the grass flat, number one. Number two, the amount of manatees that show up that particular time of year, there's always big herds of manatees that sit there and move out to the flats at that particular time. And afterwards, when the water clears, everything's gone. So I'll be watching it more carefully this year. Hopefully I can set up some studies and stuff to find out what is it more. Is it more the um, discharges of water from the um, from the rainy season or is it the manatees or is it a little combination of both hopefully I'm gonna find out but for now it's looking good here is what it looked like a, uh, a month ago and this is what it looks like now and let's look at what it looked like in May of last year you can see how much grass is, is shown up by May. So hopefully we're going to have the same trend and it's going to continue to grow and we need it. And um, I do get asked, a lot of people say, well, how can I get involved? What can I do? I do suggest if you want to join an organization that's going to help the grass and just help the uh, Indian River overall is try the Indian River Keepers. Here's the link at the bottom. Um, you can start at $25 to join the membership and um, it's an organization that's doing a lot of good. I'm going to talk more about it later, but for now, that's a way you can get involved and help, help out. So this is Pete Hink. I'm going to be back on the water again next month and I do expect things to be looking a lot better and uh, if it doesn't, I'm going to let you know. Till next time, we'll see you.